Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop and other electeds from Jersey City were joined by public safety officials at the firehouse on Bergen Avenue this morning so they could speak out in favor of the referendum on short-term rentals coming up on November 5th. Jersey City won't be manipulated by Airbnb's money. They could send mailers every single day. They could spread lies and misinformation. We know our neighbors. We will be out there making sure that our neighbors understand that we are for common sense and fair regulations to protect neighborhoods, and that's what's important about this. As the mayor has stated, uh, many cities across America have instituted some regulations, which we need here also, just to, for the safety of our neighborhoods and our residents. Um, you know, it, it, it's paramount to the quality of life in town. You know, and not just as a police officer, but also as a resident. Um, you know, I feel the effects of it also. My neighborhood is going on. We, we need these regulations, and that's why we support the mayor in this uh, effort and also the uh, Hotel Trade Commission here. Um, it turned out that my random headache wasn't so random after all. It was caused by inhaling gas fumes that were being released at a full-time Airbnb hotel next door. Gas was released by a valve for a non-functioning gas fireplace. And ironically, I used to live in that unit. I lived in that unit for five years, and I was told not to use that fireplace because the gas was not hooked up to anything. If someone had turned on a stove or a match, the house could have blown up and resulted in the deaths of many people, including me and the Wayne's two-year-old son. There was a commercial that came out maybe like two or so weeks ago. So there's 2,651 Airbnbs registered in Jersey City. I was just wondering if any of our public safety officials could tell us some data points about the, the frequency or uh, the regularity in which there are violations at these uh, type of short-term rentals. The problems that I see in court are not, uh, you know, the single Airbnb in an apartment. It's the fake hotels. We literally, to my surprise, uh, when I took this job in July 2018, there are apartment buildings in this city that have been purchased by outside companies in New York and out of state, and they are running hotels through Airbnb. Um, those are the problems. People, those are who we're looking to regulate. Uh, so when someone's listening to what we're talking about and they're just a person that goes on vacation in one Airbnb in a nice apartment building, that's not the problem. The problem is that in our streets we have buildings that are a hotel in every single way except proper fire code, safety code, and regulation. Yeah, I think that you heard a lot of uh, scare tactics today by the mayor who is using city resources to advance a political agenda. Uh, I think there's a lot of firefighters and uh, police officers who use home sharing as a tool. They know that it's uh, a good alternative to the high cost of living and, um, and frankly, the high property taxes that this mayor has presided over. Uh, there are regulations in place. Every uh, firefighter and uh, police officer who uses home sharing, every member of the home sharing community wants their communities to be safe. Uh, there are regulations that were put on the books in 2015. There's regulations on the books now. And uh, the home sharing community tried to work with this mayor for even more regulation but instead the mayor has gone forward with this ban, which uh, we believe would be bad for all of Jersey City. I'm John Hydus with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.